So my name is Daniel Orihuela. I'm a manager on the product marketing team and uh, for Nintendo, and I'm here to show off Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. We're essentially the snowmads, um, this nomadic race, uh, no, nomadic villains have come and kicked DK off his own home, island of Donkey Kong Island, and now players have to go through six different islands to get back to the fifth and the sixth and final island, which is Donkey Kong Island, to recover what they've lost. So here we are finally getting back to the sixth island of the game, which is the now frozen Donkey Kong Island that you were kicked off of. And you'll notice right off the bat, which is called Homecoming Hijink, that the Kong uh, hut is in the background. So it has moments that'll remind you of the previous game, um, Donkey Kong Country Returns, but it's gonna be quite different than what, you, what you've seen in the past. Like the volcano in the background, you can see there's actually a boat on top of it right now, which is the nomadic, the, uh, the nomad, Snomad's actual ship that has arrived. Oh my oh, god. Fired too early. That's fine, so do a little second there. I think the thing to point out too for this level is everything's frozen over. The physics, physics are going to be a little bit different, where you actually have to worry about the how you don't exactly have instant traction, things are frozen. And then something is to mention, I mean, this is what you're now on the final island, the sixth island. The game is getting more challenging. The challenge only ramps up as you go through the game. Um, and as we mentioned before, playing in multiplayer is a different challenge than playing single player. You actually have to work together, talking and sharing the abilities and how things are going. Okay. You'll come right back right here. I'm gonna wait. Right here to the checkpoint. It's good. Now here comes Cranky back. You might notice the background. Again, you'll start noticing things in the background now more so than before that remind you of that first game. Donkey Kong Country Returns. Alright, so we're gonna grab so we can show the Kong roll. Yeah, this is the Kong roll where right? when you bring it together you can actually roll infinitely. Oh and then Nice try, that was close. Really good moment to jump out. Yep, there's like a bunch of good jump over there. There you go. A little fist pump, turn all the coins, help clear the enemies out. Nicely done. Oh my god. <laughs> and you're back. And you're starting to notice a lot more of those uh, snowmad type creatures we talked about with a lot more frozen over, different enemies you get a chance to see as well. So here we are having a chance to now show off a different, we already showed you Cranky for a bit, we want to kind of show off Dixie Kong. So Dixie Kong actually has a different, little bit different moves. Instead of ground pounding, if you actually ground pound with Dixie Kong, she uses her hair, kind of whips it back and forth. Um, also instead of rolling, if you walk in direction and then, and then hit the, the uh, ground pound button, she does a pirouette. And also when you jump in the air and hold the jump button down, she actually uses her helicopter spin. And also, when you're on Donkey Kong's back, or if you do it while you're in midair, you can actually use her gumball pop gun as well. Which is a really good way, um, especially if you're trying to play single player or multiplayer. Um, in multiplayer, it's nice to have that feature because if someone's not as a good player as player one, they can still actually still be part of the game and be even when they're on DK's back. Something really cute here too, actually if you listen carefully, you actually can hear Dixie being really relatively playful. She's the most playful of the new buddies, and kind of always having fun. So this is on the this is a level on the fifth island actually. Uh, the level is actually called uh, Jelly Jamboree. And I said so we are kind of playing with Dixie Kong, which is a little bit different in the character. It should be mentioned that like you actually can play throughout the entire game and get pretty much almost everything using anybody or even just Donkey Kong by himself. Um, only on a very few occasions or moments where you might know like, oh, I really could have gotten to this spot or uh, got or found this, gotten this one puzzle piece if I had a different buddy. So there's not a lot of, not a lot of necessity to have to replay levels just the certain buddy. 
the more you get a chance to experience and have fun the way you want to. It's a good time for a Kong Pao. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Just show off what she looks like. You can see it's in a patty cake high five, uh, double fives. You know, you get these yellow hearts, which is different. That basically now, since you had full hearts already, the yellow hearts now give you extra hits. So basically now, each of you could take three hits instead of the normal two. Oh, oh my god. Keep going, keep going. See, well, the pe see there's that penguin in the background that's kind of messing with that platform. Don't worry, he'll get he'll get beamed towards you. Just keep going ahead. Ah. <laughs> You're up top out of the screen, so it actually had to beam you back. I know too, you actually are enjoying using her helicopter. Stay alive and stay alive. Um, so I hope you had a uh, Tom. Hope you had a gr uh, good time here, getting a chance to play some Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. The game is coming out February 21st. Um, you will be able to play with using the Wii Remote Nunchuck. You play with the game pad, the Wii U Pro Controller. So there are some options to play. Hope you had a good time. You had a chance to experience Dixie and Cranky and their new modes and how they kind of play through the game. And hope you look forward to seeing, playing the game on February 21st.